Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan Alexander. Uh, I'm here to host our show, Life, Laughter, Happiness. Uh, today, we're doing a psychic night. Are you there with us, uh, Barbara? Yes. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Are you there, um, Kelly? Yeah, hi, everyone. Hi, Kelly. By the way, hey, Kelly, girl. How, how do you feel? Hi. Do you feel any better? I know you've been having the flu. How 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 good? Are, how do you feel right now? Um, uh, I have to say about like uh about like I did last night. Maybe I don't want to say worse, but just different. You oh. haven't thrown anything up, have you? No, but it's been feeling like it all day. Okay, okay. All right. Well, if you have to throw up, I hope you feel better, honey. Use your, yeah. Thank if you, you have to throw up, you don't have to use your phone. Okay, just let us all. Hear. <laughs> I'll just I'll put okay. okay. it on. Just, just, you don't have to just like, take, it, take it into the bathroom, <laughs> and then we'll hear a boom. <laughs> okay, it'll it'll liven up the evening. Only now, on your um, show. <laughs> Karen, are you, are you there? I, I am here laughing all the way, Jonathan. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I, just, I just think that we need, we might need to hear some That's hilarious. tonight. That might, yeah, so don't mute yourself, Kelly, okay? Don't. Please, if you really want to bomb it. I said you go silent. I either fell asleep or I'm puking and have it on mute. So we're good. I mean, we really want to hear a good long bomb. Okay. Um, Or not. Now, (laughs) you know, it's funny. (laughs) We are starting to, I think, become more popular because I think already we have some callers. Are you okay with taking a oh, caller? Well, that goes on our Patreon page. Of and course. You know, start charging for extras. <laughs> okay. All right, area code 216. You're on the air. Hello. We scared him off already. <laughs> Gee, you think it was something we said? <laughs> Is this area code 216? Oh, no, we don't want to stay on for that. <laughs> Area code two one six. Okay. Going one. All going right. Twice. Let's go. Let's go to the next one. Area code two zero three. Area code two zero three. You there? Yes. Hi. Hi. Who, this is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. How hi. are you? Okay. How are you? Every day is a good day, sweetheart. I don't have a single complaint. That's wonderful. Um, Did you have today, a question? Uh, yeah, today um, <laughs> I was supposed to go back to work for from dis- being on disability for like four and a half months, right? So, mm-hmm. um, and then they sent me home because there's no work for me to do, and uh, so we'll see what happens by next week. Um, the thing is, is that I really want to get out of that company anyway. Uh, I'm just done with their shenanigans. You know, uh, God treating me. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's awful. Yeah. What is wrong with people? You know. Well, you know, yeah. it's interesting because you had, um, you had investigated another place before you took this job. It also feels like part of the yes. reason why they are so difficult is because they've been going through all these, I always call it musical chairs with management, you know, and it feels like they've been getting rid of this one and moving that one and blah, 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 all that other stuff that is ridiculous. And each one of the uh, people that they give a little power to has their own opinions of how things should be done. It always makes for a happy environment yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she yeah, says yeah, with exactly. her tongue in her cheek you know um so it, you spoke you had looked at a different company before and i, I wish that you would go Close. back and check them out really yes honey it feels like <sighs> now they may be that may be the perfect time 
for you for them to, and they and it feels like they will have room for you now. So, well, let me let me ask you something because that company is very large. They're all over the United States. Uh huh. And so that company is actually interested in me now, but I'm I'm waiting for like a final go ahead. But it's not the same exact job. It's in a I didn't location. say it was. Okay. I said they have room for you now, and I think yeah. that's really where you belong. And I th- and <sighs> honestly, it feels like you'll be very happy there. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. And so I guess it's I mean happen. because I don't, you don't know me, and I don't know you, but it sure is clear to me that it's the place that you looked at before you took this job. This feels like it was just the placeholder, you know? Yeah. This is and like people talked me into it. You know what? And that's okay because you found out what you didn't want, and that's a good thing. So I wouldn't worry about that, and it was exactly what it was supposed to be. And the I other... would rather, forgive me, but I would rather you deal with what you've been going through with them rather than with the company you really you I think you're going to love working with them. I could try to go back to that very same job in a different state. I I it's different it's same company but you know different If state. you're open I, if you're open to that and that's appealing to you by all means. I think you may have very several choices. Yeah. So, I, you know, no need to uh, make the decision now because when they say, oh, do you do this? It's like, sure, I do that too. You know? <laughs> and they'll go, wow. You know? So I would absolutely go and talk to them because that feels like your home. This does not. You there? Hello? Hello? What happened to her? I don't know. Oh, honey, who knows? I mean, with the the weather and the crazy storms, and I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that's that bad. I do not know. But if I'm sure if she has any other questions... She will call back. I just hope she's okay. That's all that I care about. You know, the rest of it, that'll all get straightened out. Yeah. And she, and she heard mm-hmm. what she was supposed to hear. Yeah, that's true. Uh, did, she, did she get disconnected? That's what it sounded like. All of a sudden, the line just went dead. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I remember she got, I, I think I'm going to see her. Okay, um, next up is 216. Hello, 216. Hello. 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 Happy Tuesday. 216. Sharon, are you there? Thank you, too. Of course I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? I'm here. Yeah. This is Sharon. Yeah. She's on a treadmill right now, and she listens to us when she goes on a treadmill, everybody. I do. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Killing two versus one stone. If you were there, if you were there, you'd be yeah. getting a pop right next I know. I it's love it. That's Thursday. hilarious. Usually, thir- <laughs> yeah. I honestly, and you know, I I just like listening to your show. I ta- I spoke to you once, but I do listen a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. I'm glad you called again. <clears throat> Last time yeah. I ca- spoke to you, you suggested me doing meditation Sundays with Kelly. Yeah. I remember oh. you said that. Uh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Did, did you do that? I haven't yet. No, not on Sundays. It's hard but to, to get on the phone on that night. But, no, I would love to listen well, to it. Know, uh, I know. Many of her meditations are on uh, online. And oh, and you, you can, can yes. I know. You did, I know because <laughs> I told you I didn't meditate. But, anyhow, I well, have a life question this evening. Yes. I'm having a little bit of challenges at my job. Is it going to be straightened out? Absolutely. They're having they're having challenges too. 
It has not, do you know it's not really about you? They oh. all feel like they're in this weird kind of I say it jokingly, but I want to say we should we should make some changes and what are, what am I going to do when I grow up? You know, it's almost like they can't figure out where to put themselves. Well, I've been and there almost a year and I right. do know they have crazy rules and I've worked in the, I've been working for four, you know, 40 40 years, no. 20, 30 You're years. not old enough to be working for 40 years, honey. Don't yeah, go there. 30, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know that they are going through some big changes that really don't have anything to do with you. Well, and it's a corporation. Right. And I, it's but it boss. feels like it's, I, oh. I understand that, but it feels like it's the upper management playing musical chairs, you know? Okay. But it's don't take it personally. This will all get straightened out. It may take another 60 days, but it okay. will get straightened out. Just, you know, whistle while you work, you know. And you know, the, like the four-year-olds that stick their fingers in their ears and go, la, 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 in their head when somebody's saying something they don't want to hear. I want yeah. you to borrow that. Oh, that's you know? funny. Yeah, I'm My serious. Mm hmm starts with the letter M. Uh-huh. That's his first name. He's kind of uh-huh. heavy. I know he's military kind of boss. But, but when he, is it going to be? I, that's funny. I was going to say to you, you mean Mr. Intense? Yeah. I know. But am I ever going to be to the point where he is like A1 happy with me? Because he's not right now. You know <laughs> what, honey? He isn't with really anybody. And I, you're going to, I, I, I hope you can hear me. Do not personalize i know he directs it towards you but part of it forgive me is because you're a woman okay and he he's not a guy that has been known to play well with others but it is because he feels like he's sort of in the middle of a uh a bit of a mess himself and you are the easy target Oh my gosh! It'll, It'll pass. Out. It will pass, sweetheart. And you're going to see some changes that happen uh, in the upper ranks of the the company. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's not moved somewhere. Wow. Okay. I just. Oh my gosh. There's just so much deception, and it starts at management. It's. I don't think it's yeah, it is. That's why I said to you, it's like they're playing department. musical chairs. I mean, oh. it's so, it's so weird. I mean, everybody feels like they're scared and looking over their shoulder, you know, because they're making changes and not, not sharing that information. But please don't worry about it. It has nothing to do with you. And I'm grateful that you are not in that where they are. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I stay out of it. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? That's probably why I'm not in the clique with the women. That, and that's thank in, you. In, the, in my department. Now, there's people there that are very nice. I'm talking about just my area. Oh, yeah. No, I know exactly what you mean. We're talking to having the same conversation, talking about exactly the same people. It's at the top yeah. that the problem is. And I it's know. Not, It has nothing to do with you. That's why I said you just unfortunately happen to be the easy target. And this guy is scared for his own job because he knows what he's done. And he's relatively unpleasant most of the time anyway, so don't take it personally. He is most of the time. He is. There's he's a grumpy, grumpy, you know, which is a pretty young man sad. That sits next to me. There's a young man that sits next to me. I'm old enough to be his mother. He's another troublemaker. He's always trying to cause trouble with me. Is he going to, like, stop? Leave me alone. No, honey, they're going to get him out. Forget it. They're going to get him out of there. He's not going to be there very long. He's almost gone. Gonna, he's going to do why? They're gonna because he's going to have, excuse me, pissed off the wrong person. He is so, he is so, I mean, he is toxic. Well, he's manipulative and he he yeah. thinks that may have worked when he was seven, you know, to get attention. But, boy, is he barking up the wrong tree with this group. But he's is going he? to do something. There's Who's the dark-haired girl? 
Yeah, there's. I know who you're talking about. She's better Boy, than that. Boy, it feels she's like, like not, but she knows what she's doing. Let she me does. finish, okay? Sound, it feels like you. he is going to, whatever he does, she is the one that's going to get him gone because she's not the one to mess with, you know? And wow. she's going to, she has, I, I, I have great respect for her. She's not this warm snuggle bunny, but she's she not. does what, she's good at what she does, and she no. usually minds her own business, you know? But, boy, this kid is going to pick on the – it's funny. I used to work with a detective that used to say they misjudge their quarry, you know. That's and this kid is going to – because she is normally in her own private Idaho in her head, you know, she doesn't bother with too many people. But, boy, going after her, that will be his fatal error. Wow, she's been a lot nicer to me lately too. She has been. Well, she because, wasn't the because beginning. I know that, but she is the one that stands in the corner and is the observer, and she's she thinks he's a jerk, and she doesn't have a lot to do with a lot of people there. But you have proved your mettle. She knows that you're under M's. You know, you are, you're the one that has the target on you. And gets picked on, but it's not personal. Save your energy. She's a she's a she's okay. I she is okay. I, and boy, is she! Else? I'm telling you, she is going to take him out. <laughs> this kid. When do you feel this is going to happen? The next few months. Oh, yeah, by definitely the by the end of the year. You're going to see two, three, four people gone. Oh, my gosh. So what you're saying is the majority of my staff in my area, they yes. really don't like him. They play the game. Exactly. Everybody's just trying to get along to get along there, you know. And okay. he, boy, you talk about overstepping your boundaries. This oh, kid has absolutely no, no respect. Self-care. It's a shame on him. It's so sad. He tries to make me look bad in front of people. That's why I don't want to start fights with him. I'm already in the zone. Honey, I don't. I don't want to make myself. You know what? I want. I want you when when if he starts whatever he's doing, I want you to just stand there and stare at him and let him run his mouth until he realizes you're not interested in fighting back. And you can borrow my line when people do that. I really appreciate you sharing your feelings with me. <laughs> you want to really mess with him? That, that will make his head explode. <laughs> you are so funny. Anything else it's you can true, do? It's true, though. I mean, I'm gonna he, there are some people with his personality. Oh, my God, it's not worth it. Don't you waste one calorie of energy on him. He's not going to be there much longer because the little dark-haired chick is the one that he has no idea. She knows exactly who and what he is. I, gosh, I thought it was just I was the only one, but I, I shouldn't say that. I know, Oh, I but. promise you, and she'll tell you. She will tell you. You don't say anything. You know, you get along with everybody, and... Little Mr. Creep, don't worry about him. Um, he's going to be gone and, because he's he's going to mix it up with her, which is a big mistake. That will be his so fatal I'm, error. And so I'm going to be there while you do steal my job. Oh, yeah. Be okay. You'll be okay. there until you don't want to be there anymore. It'll be your choice to leave, not theirs, for you to leave. Okay. Oh and my gosh, I, you, you know, so the fun. and the other thing is, it feels like with all the musical chairs that are going on there, you may be offered uh, to move up a little bit to another, yeah, mm-hmm. to another position. Yeah, because they have a lot of departments there. I mean, it, it, they're all over the world. Oh, I know they company. do, honey. I know they do. Yeah. And there's lots of room. They're just. It feels like there's this. Uh, musical chair hysteria going on at the top and everybody's trying to figure out am I going to be here are they getting rid of me or are they and and M knows that he's 
about to get moved. And his is not a step up, by the way. <laughs> this feels like a lateral move. Oh, so, gosh, I can't believe that. I know deep down he's a nice guy. I, I hope to, I, I hope No, <laughs> no, he's a control, an insecure control freak. But don't worry about that. It has nothing to do with you. And I always oh, say the good news is you don't need to take him home with you or any of his stuff, you know? Those are, that's his drama and his journey. It's not yours, honey. Don't do that to yourself. I needed this tonight so much. Thank you. I've been so worried. Oh, my God. Oh, don't Thank worry, you sweetheart. So Rest your heart. Ma'am, ma'am I, have a, I have a question for you. Are you, are yes. you on Facebook? Okay, I am. We have a group that's devoted to the show, Facebook group. It's called it's, – it's the name of the show – if you search for it, um, you'll see like a microphone. Ask okay. to be a part of the show in the, the, the page because you know we're there a lot, and um, you know it's it's become sort of the how we get the show the word out for the show. So you would do it would do you good if you joined. As it help us out as well. Absolutely, I'll look it up. Yes. Okay. Karen, I love your readings. You're so honest. And oh, you're, thank you. You, you, like go, you can find me on my guess. website, KarenPage.com. Thank you so much. I was going to do EleanorRoosevelt.com, but it was too complicated <laughs> to explain to people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank but you so please much. join the caller. group. It, they're so, yeah. There are some really uh, wonderful conversations that go on there. Thank you. Yeah. Keep me on. I want to listen to you. I want to listen to the readings. Okay. Thank you. Yay! Yeah. Right. I love getting uh, to know the new what, people, what, the new listeners. What's I your love first it. name, sweetheart? It's Sharon. Okay, Sharon. Uh, when's Sharon your and Karen, 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 of course. <laughs> Sharon, when's your birthday? That's exactly Sharon. I Sharon, Karen. I get called Karen all the time. Thank you oh, so that's much. Funny. Okay. Uh, Sharon. Sharon, Sharon. when's your birthday? My birthday is September 1st. I just turned 54 this weekend. Happy birthday, okay. sweetheart. Oh, birthday. And mine's the 29th. <laughs> is it? We're both oh, September wow. babies. <laughs> cool. That's funny. Yeah, you're you're a Libra. Yeah. Oh, definitely a Libra. Yeah. <laughs> I have six <laughs> planets in my chart ruled by Venus. Mm. May I ask your last it's, name, Sharon? Wow. What, what was that? Would you be? Would you mind if I ask you your last name, Sharon? You don't have to give it to no, me, but I, um, it's Peterson. <laughs> As okay. in oh, automotive Sharon. museum. <laughs> there's so many people. Peterson, not there's a Peterson that murdered his wife. You know. <laughs> oh, that lunatic! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of bad. <laughs> he is a boy. Talk about a monster. Oh, yeah. I know. I hated my last name during that era. <laughs> oh, honey, it had nothing to do with you. He was oh, born know. broken. That's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I know. What a yeah. disgusting piece of garbage he is. Well, thank Bye. you. <laughs> hey, I am so glad you called, sweetie. Don't be a stranger. Have a nice right, day. Let us know. And happy okay. belated birthday, Sharon. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. Uh, apparently, the uh, area code two zero, the area code two zero three is calling back. She she got disconnected. She was wanting to hear oh, what uh, what uh, what was what was oh, it that thanks. she said. Yeah, I I missed the final end. We we're so I was. You had said that there were some other opportunities that might also be presented and. I know that there's some irons in the fire on the east coast. Yeah, and it's like don't you know you're I ha, I'm not worried about you, but I definitely want you to talk to the the other people. Yeah. Uh, yes, oh. ma'am. Don't be shy. So you, you think have that's the better? you have a oh I think that's a much better fit for you, and you have a skill set that they're going to be going yippee <laughs> I mean absolutely there's one in New Hampshire and one in Boston well, honey whichever Jesus. one whichever I don't think it's New Hampshire it more feels like Boston to me 
Um, right. And they feel like they, it's so funny, They're, the way the company appears to be run is not really as open-minded as they actually are when you, when you start working there. It, they feel very open-minded and open for communication, and it, they'll be very happy to have you. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I've made so many bad mistakes. You know, sometimes you have Honey, to take and, and I'm going to ask you what I, what I always say to people. What did you learn from those mistakes? That's the part, is to not recreate the same scenario in your life. Because I always believe God gives us the same lessons, different faith. And all of a sudden we kind of go, oh, why am I doing that to myself again? And sometimes we can do it for 20 years or more. You know, it's the same lesson. But it's yeah. for us to learn from. So stop beating yourself up and step back and go, got it, you know, and think about really what it is that you learned from it. And sometimes, I if, but, go ahead. Oh, I am wondering if I'll end up taking this job first, the one that might come oh. very quickly. Mm-hmm. And then, of course you will. And then maybe... <laughs> <laughs> of course you will. And maybe switch if I felt the other one's better. That well, and I want you to examine that. Okay? Because this one's going to happen regardless. Okay. The the move where you are is going to happen regardless of what you choose to do with Boston right now. And Boston's not running away, but I would investigate it further. Okay. 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 Yeah, thanks so much. You're really you are, great. Well, You're something yay. else. <laughs> you know what? My mom told me when I was a little girl from the time I was three, because I wanted to be a lawyer to put the bad guys away, you know? Oh. And, and my mother always looked at me and said, sweetheart, always remember that man plans and God unplans. And I'm so grateful that God unplanned my life and gave me an extraordinary gift that I I just thank God every single day. It's so yeah. don't what I'm saying is don't get stuck on where you think you're supposed to be. You know? When I oh yeah, what by the way, when I got cut off before, did you say something about my disability that I'm coming off of my injury or no? Oh, I said to, what I said to you was, I'm glad that that happened while you are where you are, okay, <laughs> and that it oh. didn't happen with the new with this new move because yeah. you'll get you'll get your perky self back. So don't worry about that. Oh. Oh. And this was this it's the placeholder, you know. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm not can worried I about you. No. What, honey? Can I do any? Can I do anything in particular to increase my success with people liking me and and respecting me? Is I know you're going to laugh. Can... Do you? Yeah, be yourself and understand there is absolutely nothing wrong with you. It's okay. not a competition. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay. And you and when people misbehave in our lives, isn't that a nice way of saying it? Um, sometimes we need to let people leave our lives that we thought knew us, we thought they liked us, sometimes we thought they loved us. And then we realize, why am I wasting my time there? They don't have any idea who I am. And thank God as adults, we have a choice of who we give permission to have space in our life. So yeah. stop, looking at, stop looking at everybody's behavior and thinking there's something wrong with you. It, it, there's nothing wrong with you, honey. It's just okay. that don't you look, don't you look around at some, some people that have you given room in your life and kind of go, what the heck was I thinking? 
Well, it's it's at work. You know, you like the last person who was on. It's our <laughs> out there. There are some idiots, and they're nasty people, and they well, come because at you. They every, come after but, you. Yeah, but it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Don't you realize that's their stuff? It has nothing to do with you. And did you hear what I said to her? The next time that happens, I want you to just look at them and go, I really appreciate you sharing those feelings with me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I mean, their their head will explode because it's <laughs> when you know that you have, and you are very, you give it your all. It's not like you just phone it in, you know. And every once in a while, I don't care if it's once a month, you're going to run into some jerk at your job because that happens. And people have their own dynamic going on, their own crazy stuff in their life, and everybody's got stuff. And it's, and nowadays, wow, it's like keep your sense of humor, you know. They yeah, don't yeah. know you. It has nothing to do with you personally. That's their yeah. drama, their journey, and whatever's going on in their mind, do you really want to know? No. No, but it, 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 threatens, your, it, it threatens your livelihood, and nobody should but do honey, that But, honey, don't you person. know. That's how you perceive it. They may be misled, and it feels like some of them are scared for their own stuff and misplacing it, and because you wear that fear, you have nothing to be afraid of. They just, you you are the easy target. Yeah. It's not personal. I am. Don't take it, don't take it personally. Okay. I'm, I'm trying I'm, not to these days. I'm serious. It has nothing to do with you. You know, you don't know what is going on in their life. And you become uh, you become an easy target because you are crazy sensitive. But their stuff doesn't have anything to do with you. And then mm-hmm. I'm sorry they, that they take it out on you, but you need to just look at them. And like I said to the other lady, you know how a four-year-old sticks their fingers in their ears and goes, la, 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 in their head, <laughs> you know. And tell them, I, I I heard you, I appreciate you sharing that with me, and thank you very much. And they will stop making you the target. Yeah, that's a good one. You know, I'm, I'm serious. some life lessons from Ramona. I don't know if you watch New York Housewives, The Real Housewives. No, no Ramona, I don't watch the Ramona, Housewives show. Ramona, Ramona lets it roll off her shoulders. It's like, I don't know, I don't care. I don't care. I'm me. I'm me. You know what, I'm, what did I say to you? Be you. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with you. Yeah. I mean, I Thank can you. I. You know, all the, the uh, Jonathan, Kelly, and Barbara all know this. I was the weird kid at school. I, in elementary school, I was five foot nine and a half. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. And no. I. And by nature, which you can all laugh now, I'm excruciatingly shy. And I had a terrible stutter. And I was the weird kid that just knew stuff. I didn't have any Mm. way of knowing, you know. And to say that those things made me wildly popular would just be the understatement of the century. (laughs) I was just the freak in school. And... The nicest thing that anyone, one of the nicest things anyone ever said to me is my ex said, I was one of the only people that he ever knew that didn't give a fill in the blank what anyone thought of them. And I looked at him and I said, God and my mother. And since I know where my mother is and who she's hanging out with, it's all on God because he knows my intentions. And everybody else is only human. And I wouldn't waste an ounce a calorie of energy on getting upset or caring if somebody liked me because I don't want mean people or manipulative people in my life. And I'm sorry that some of the people you work with are jerks, but don't take it home with you, honey. It's got nothing to do with you. You just happen to be in that place. 
you know? It's diminished my feeling of comp- being competent, you know, when Sweetheart, I know I'm more competent. And you do an incredibly good job and are a wonderful employee. And you're really nice. Stop taking personally what they say. You know your intentions. And that's yeah. what matters. And you more than do your job. So please, rest your heart. That's what I needed to hear. Thank you. You're wonderful. You are welcome, you so sweetheart. Much. Let okay. us know. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Next up Bye, is, Next up is Trish. You there, Trish? Hi. Hi. Hi, Thank Trish. You for taking my call. Hi. Um, I've never called, so I'm not sure how you work or what information you need. Your name and what question do you have? Okay. My name is Trish. And Hi, my Trish. question if is if you see a change of employment, change of finances, something going, I guess, either by the end of the year or going into the new year? Um, I don't see you changing jobs right now, okay? Financially, there's a funny, a good funny thing coming up, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, where it comes we're, we're regarding your finances, it's very interesting. It's almost like you have money coming in from two places. Okay. Two sources, you know. Um, I like it. I'm wondering if the money you see it's from a legal situation. Absolutely. It's so oh. weird. Do you know what I first thought it was? I was going to say, I don't know if this is an inheritance or it's so, a settlement of some kind, but it, <laughs> yes, that is absolutely where the other money comes from. Oh, okay. A thousand percent. Um, oh, well, that makes me feel a lot better. Um, but I guess my question is, do you – and I know timing is difficult. Do you see that coming before the end of the year? Uh, absolutely. And it's funny because it will be right before the end of the year, like between Thanksgiving and the 20th of, of December. Oh, okay. Got it. I mean, it's – and you'll but you'll know about it probably uh, the middle of November. Okay. Okay, um, right, before, right before Gobble Day. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's great. Um, and then I guess my other question is, is there just, you know, sometimes I don't know what to ask. Is there anything else I should know about the situation or? Well, I do, the, you do, well, no, not about that. You do have a couple of health issues that I'd like you to take care of and stop putting off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure which. No, they don't feel they don't feel urgent. It just feels like something that you're not taking care of. Like if you haven't gone for your regular checkup, mm-hmm. you need to make sure you do that. Okay, I can do that. Okay, and move you to the top of that list. Right, right. Instead of putting my Thank health you. at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, at the bottom of the list. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that was my only question. I truly appreciate you taking the time to absolutely. Answer That's so funny. Did you hear me go? Yes, yes. <laughs> I did. I because did. I wanted I did. to I say did. it, but I, I, it was like it's not coming from your job. This is money that comes from a completely separate source, you know. <laughs> and it will be. You'll be surprised and very happy about this. It'll make your life a great deal easier. Yeah, that would be great. Honestly, it's been kind well, of well. A... You'll sl- you'll sleep better at night. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be great too. I-, I was thinking I had to take CBD oil for that, but maybe this will help. That will definitely help. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate Absolutely, it. Absolutely, sweetheart. You take care and let okay. us know. Okay. I will. I wasn't aware of your show, but I definitely will let you know. Yay! Awesome. Glad that you called. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, sweetie. Hi, John. Hello. Hi, Hi, who is this? 
This is Valerie. Hi, Valerie. Hi. I That's one of my favorite it. names, one of my closest friends of oh. two-thirds of my life shares your name. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yep, she's lovely, and I bet you are too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been doing some housekeeping over at my house, and one person has left. And there's I'm still so, one person. You mean you mean taking out the trash? Well, I don't want to say that, but oh, that's you're much you're much nicer than I. <laughs> <laughs> so I have I have one other person to leave, and I want to know if it's gone if they're going to be gone by sep- the end of September. Yes. And yes, will it be yes. Easy? It okay. it's going to be more complicated to get them out, but yes, they will. And the ne- this next two weeks is the critical part. Okay, when you say complicated, wh- what do you mean? Oh, they're going to be a little grumpy about it, but it has nothing to do with you. It's their stuff, not your stuff. <laughs> yeah, they're okay. grumpy about it now. Yeah, they're grumpy oh, about well, it and now. they're going to probably increase the grumpiness. Do not buy into that. Okay. Do not get involved. Do not react. If they start carrying on, you just, uh, you know, we can be polite for five minutes with almost anybody, <laughs> you know, yeah. and that's uh-huh. their, yeah. their stuff got nothing to do with you. But, yes, they will be out before the end of the month. But this okay. next two okay. weeks, it, it feels like they're going to mm-hmm. ramp it up. Okay. Are they going to leave on their own? Um, in other words, I, you know, they're going to just get up and, and go. Yes. But, of course, they're going to have to make a scene before they do that. And you just, the word, take care of yourself, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because I, I and, and please change your locks, okay? Well, yeah, definitely so, yeah. Okay, sweetie. But, yes, but they're going to be gone. Mm-hmm. And, yes. They'll realize they have made a big mess of things. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, why do people do stuff that is irreparable and then they they blame it on the person? Yeah, it's they'll be gone, honey. Okay, because I wanted to make sure I didn't have to take any any action. Oh no 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 no. There's none of that. It feels like they they know you know. It's always amazing because I've had this conversation with Jonathan and Kelly and Barbara about, you know, people mistake our kindness for weakness. For sure. And they're always surprised when we say to them, no, I'm sorry, that doesn't work for me. Right. Well, they think that they have to leave, but I just was hoping that they would just go on their own. Well, they know they've pushed this way too far. So. And they know you want them out. So, yes, honey, absolutely, they're going. Because okay. if not, this is just going to get worse and worse and worse, and then it's going to turn into a gigantic legal problem that, trust me, they don't want. Yeah, well, I'm trying to avoid that. And I know you are, and you them. will not have to go there. <laughs> They'll be out by the end of the month. Okay. Okay? All right. And, mm-hmm. and just, for myself... Stay calm, okay? Yeah, I I will. Yeah, I definitely will. Um, Do you see for me, maybe after this is all resolved, that I could get back into working? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So hopefully by October, November, perhaps? Oh, yeah. You should be able to get back to work by the middle or third week of October. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Well, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you you are very show. welcome, sweetheart. Let us know how you're doing. I sure will. Thank you okay. so very much. I okay. appreciate it. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. okay. Area code 805 is next. <laughs> 805. Hi. You're my neighbor. <laughs> I'm in the valley. Okay, I'm in Santa Barbara. See, not so yeah. far. 
not so far. That's right. That's right. We could almost <laughs> wave from there. <laughs> I know. A bit humid today, huh? Oh my God! You know, and I've never, I haven't oh. been able to deal with the heat and humidity since I was a kid. <laughs> like, oh. yikes! Yeah, it was bad <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And and it's always lovely at a hundred and pick something degrees, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm. So what's your what's your name? I'm Donna. Hi, Hi Donna. I'm Karen. Hi, Karen. Um, in my meditation, I got a message that said it's coming soon. Coming. And I've been asking God, I've been praying to God to meet a fellow to get married and also for more money to come in. So I wanted to know what you were picking up on that. When I got the message, I don't know if it was from God. I don't know if it was from my higher self. But I felt a lot of softness, gentleness, a lot of love, and a lot of gratitude. It's funny because it feels like you have a little guardian angel in the next world. Oh. Somebody yeah, that you, so. you loved and they've they've left. You know, my they're mom. No long, yes. My yes. mom. Because that's where that feels like it came from. I just got chills all over oh, me when I said that to you. Yeah, she left early. I'm I'm 65 Wait. now, but when she left, she was 60. She was what, honey? 60 years old when she left the earth. Oh, that's way too early to be leaving. My mom was 66. Oh, too young too. Yeah. You're not But you know what? We have some wonderful memories. Yes. We are uh, very blessed. Yeah, yes. mine was 64. Yeah, too. Wow. They're too. They were way too young to be leaving. All of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so but yeah, and I know together. I, you know, when we are happy, it's easy to meet people. Okay. When you know nobody's going to rescue us. Right. We. When we're happy with wherever we are in our life, that is when you will meet the right partner. Mm, interesting. Mm-hmm. And there's somebody from your past that keeps trying to come back, but that's not happening. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Don't go there, honey. A fish will never be a bird. Right. Okay. And they haven't changed. I don't care what they say. Yeah. I'd like to meet someone new. Uh, sweetheart, I'd like you to, you're, you're going to meet, have an opportunity to meet the right person. The right one. Yeah. And that's, you'll definitely be in that relationship by oh, March good. of March of next year. Oh, excellent. And that's like a minute and a half away, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's very close. Yep. Very and, and close. you know, it'll give you time to get all the other stuff in order. And I'm not worried exactly. about you financially. You're going to be fine. <laughs> You've never yes. been allergic to working, sweetheart. You'll be fine. No. Yeah. Yeah, I have a little part-time thing going now, and my brother-in-law Very told me smart. he's going to leave. My brother-in-law said he's going to leave me in his will, so I'm happy about that. Oh yeah, uh, that is without even a question. Absolutely. Yeah. He had it all drawn up by the lawyer and everything. And, yeah. You know, so that's good. Well, you were you were a gift, right? What, honey? I said I was a gift. Yes. I said mm-hmm. you were a gift. Okay. And that's why. Yeah. This is my brother-in-law. I, I know. No, I know, her. honey. Yeah. But you made everyone's life much easier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm always helping people. You were you were the gift, and you need to know that. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Yay! Yay! 
So well, rest your you. rest your heart, my friend. Absolutely. You've been through a really difficult last six, seven years. It's like wow. Yes. Very hard. And now you know, and now for the fun part of the program. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm looking forward please, to honey, it is absolutely going to get worlds better. Oh, good. Yeah, I had a hard six years. I want to go yes, traveling you. and have fun. You know, oh, go with my well, it's funny. And travel. <laughs> you are you're coming into that time in your life. Yeah. And it, it's you've had a just one thing after another that you had to take care of. So, rest your heart. It's you're you're right there at the doorstep. Oh, good. So, don't Wonderful. worry. Yeah. Let us Just know. I will. Thank you very you should much. Join, you should join our uh Life Laughter Happiness group on Facebook. Oh, okay. How do I get to that? Uh, go to Facebook, <laughs> plug in Life Laughter Happiness Group, and it'll Life come up, laughter. and then to, and tell us you want to be our friend. Okay, I'll do that. Yay! Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Okay, sweetheart. Let us right. know how you're doing. Hey, I will. Thanks Next a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 610. Bye. 610. Hello? Next. Hello, 610. Hello, my name is uh, Sonia. How are you doing, Karen? Now? I'm fine, Sonia. How are you? Doing great. That is um, that nice. <laughs> yes, that is nice. What uh, is what your question, th- my friend? My question was concerning um, career. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been at this company for about two yeah. years, great place. Great atmosphere. Everyone is super nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just wanted to see what you're picking up for me as far as um, upward mobility, um, any promotions, expansions, and things of that nature for me. Well, it's interesting because it feels like It feel, what it looks like is that they're make they're making they're restructuring the your company where okay. you are and that okay. there is going to be room for growth for you. But oh. I'm looking at this I wish I could tell you it's tomorrow, but it feels like it's during spring starting in March next year. Okay. And there is one guy that's a big, it's funny, he's your big advocate. He'll oh. be the one that is, um, I keep wanting to say, he'll be, he's your biggest fan and he will be your advocate. And it's funny because he has this really stern kind of appearance, mm-hmm. but he's not that guy, you know? Right, right. And, and if he trusts somebody, which he absolutely trusts you, you were like mm-hmm. their lucky hire, you know? <laughs> yeah. And and really, really have made them things run so much more smoothly. Yeah. And it, put out a lot it, of fires for them. Oh yes you have, sweetie. I mean because it, these <laughs> the the guys that you directly work for, oh my God. They were not sleeping at night and taking Maalox for the ulcers. And, I mean, it was yeah, one I mean, thing after another, you know. Technology field, so I work with a lot of guys. Uh, you know? Yeah, because these all look like guys to me, you know. Yeah. And I mean, it, there and is stuff, a, so, yeah. huh? I said there's a few women here and there, but it's more the business side, but it directly. Yeah. Like I have a meeting, a daily meeting, and then I have a female boss, but I also feel like I have a male boss. Um, sometimes she's there, sometimes not. It's just me, yeah, her, and the rest know, of the, the team. They're all guys. Absolutely. Well, it feels like you have um, one of your one of the bosses is a big fan of yours, and it's definitely a guy. Do you and pick he, up any initials or name about him by any chance? I'm just curious. Um, if I, I don't. I don't get that. But he's he look he he's kind of tall and kind of slim. 
Mm. You oh, know, okay. so he doesn't feel athletic. Out. He doesn't feel athletic. He feels like he's and and he's one of those guys that would roll his um, shirt cuff just below his elbow. Okay. You know, it's like he he tries to make it look casual, but the shirt mm-hmm. and, and will wear the shirt untucked. You know. Okay. But okay. the shirt, of course, has been laundered. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> He's not a T-shirt guy, this guy. Right, and right. <laughs> and he can be really tough. I mean, really okay. tough. But that's not really who he is. He's that way when he absolutely has to be. And they have had to get rid of a couple of people recently that one of them was just a nightmare. You know, it's like if there was a right way to do something and a wrong way to do it, they'd pick the wrong way every time. And it finally was like, I can't do this anymore. They got to go, you know, and it wasn't. Yeah. I've been there and so so much has happened. Like in in October, two years ago, and then December, um, they had a, I think January, they had a restructuring. Oh, yeah. Well, they're not done yet, sweetie. They're not done. So much has happened. They're standing in. Yes, and they're expanding yeah. into some other areas, mm-hmm. and it's it's been complicated. <laughs> but but the thing is, I'm always there, you know. Like I'm always. I well, even, they like, trust when this, you. When this, right when this issue <clears throat> happened, that the system went down and people were calling and everything was crazy. Um, I got a bonus. Like not everybody got it, like a special Christmas bonus. I mean, yeah, but honey, bonus it's because for this you stuff. were. You're the voice. You were the voice of reason. You weren't hysterical, going, "Now what are we gonna do?" You know, you were the voice of reason. And right. you said, "Sure, tell me what you need." And it's like that's not the first time you've put fires out wherever you've worked and in your personal life. You know, so yes. this is easy. And they're make they're with this re, again their this expansion that they're doing. This is going to be great for you. Oh, okay. So you I'm see, excited. like a. Oh, that's great. You see, like a, a higher up position than what I'm oh, doing. Oh yeah, like a, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And like it's, maybe more money. You'll definitely be making more money. Okay. And they, title maybe. Yes, all of the above. Okay. Uh, but it's and I see them talking to you about a helping them figure out how to set up. I keep wanting to say a field office. Okay. Okay. And that you're not only going to be doing this new position. But there's also going to be this, when they set up these field offices, you're going to be the one that goes, and, because you'll put the formula in place that makes it okay. easy. So okay. I like it. <laughs> I'm <great>. happy. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> happy for you. Oh, I'm happy this too. Is, you're going to love this. Yeah, it sounds sounds exciting. So, do you know like when they'll tell me about it? Do I have to wait till March of next year? No, to know about you'll it, or hear or you'll sure? hear about it in the at the very beginning of the year. They're not. I don't see them opening the door before like December. Okay, to talk okay. about it. But from then on, it feels like there'll be different. You'll have different meetings with. It feels like there's four other people in the room, and you're going to be so. I, I keep wanting to go. Wow, <laughs> you know that little kid in us that goes, wow. It's like they really see you. They they okay. get you. They get your worth. Right. And right. so you think I'm sorry. You're going. You're about to be. You're about to see how appreciated you are. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. Do you feel like it's going to be like maybe a management position perhaps? 
Yeah, but not in the conventional sense. Okay. It, they're going because you are a creative thinker. You don't lose your mind in time of crisis. You've already shown them that. Right. And and you are the voice. You were the voice of reason. It's like, don't worry, this will all get fixed. You know. Here, have a cupcake. You know, <laughs> like calm down. Right? This is not the end of the earth. You know, we'll be back up. Don't worry. And right. they they need that, and they don't have that now. In, um, I, I can't say it's. I mean, what is it going to be? The manage manager in crisis. Crisis management. I mean, it's like it's, but it's more than that. It feels like it's when they go to set up. They need someone they can trust that understands okay. how they work. Okay. To set up what it what looks like their field offices. In and it okay. feels like they're going to set up. I want to say a half a dozen of them. I see. Over time, it's not all at one time. Right. And you, then, of course, you'll come back to, to where you are, your your bit, where your offices are. And you'll probably have moved into a different office. Okay. Well, actually, what I do now is 100% remote, so my home is my office. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Well, this one, you will be... You'll see your your coworkers more often, face to face. I see. Well, they're in a different state, and I'm I know, sweetheart, the, and that's why the, flight, the next the, wait, it's, wait. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The next words coming out of my mouth were going to be, "You are going to be doing some traveling, but domestic and foreign." Okay. Okay, and you're, it's not out of your pocket, so relax. <laughs> right, right. Well, I won't do it if it was out of my pocket because I don't have. Well, it. you're not. The, this is this is all on their dime. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much, Karen. Appreciate it. You are Thank very you. welcome, sweetheart. Good luck. Thanks. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Area code five four one is next. Hi there. Hi there. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Honey, every day is a good day. You know, my good. philosophy is if I wake up and most of my parts work, I've got nothing That's to right. complain oh. about. <laughs> That's right. It's wow. like every day is a good day. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's your name? My name is Camille. Hi. Oh, that's beautiful. I bet you there weren't six Camilles in any of your classes, were there? Never, ever. And funny you mentioned class. Years ago, when I lived in Los Angeles, I attended a workshop that you taught through the Learning ah. Annex about oh Tarot Oh, my God. hmm That's me. hmm <laughs> Oh, my yes. God. That's so funny. That it was, was Yeah, that was at least six weeks ago. <laughs> yes, 15, was, 16 yeah. years ago. I know. That is so I know. funny. Yep, I mm-hmm. sure did. That's funny. Yes. I was just talking to them about teaching tarot. <laughs> And I had taught tarot. <laughs> it's like, oh, yes, and I learned from you. Yes, I did. Wow. That is so sweet of you. I'll bet you almost went, oh, my God, that's where she went. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've, I've looked you up over the years. So I just kind of happened upon this podcast. So I'm like, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I'm on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Good to it know. Is so, that is so sweet. I love yeah. that. So do well, you I do have, have a, a question? See, and and I was just going to say, and now you can find me. Yeah. You know, or you could find me on my website. You know. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, my question. What is? Yes. What might that be? So I am a hypnotherapist working from home. Bless and your what heart. Do you, thank you. What do you see um, coming for me in my business? Well. It feels like you are going to, it's funny, I don't ever for one second believe people meet by accident. Right. It feels like you're going to meet somebody that works with law enforcement. Okay. And that they are going to want to bring you in initially Mm -hmm. 
as uh, um, and you'll get paid, but it feels like initially it's going to be a let's see if, if this is a good fit. Okay, but it's okay. in a different area than where they where you would think it it is. You're going to have to travel a little ways, but you'll have a driver and all that stuff. They'll come and get you or fly you okay. there. And you'll be working with a team. Interesting. Yeah, it is very interesting. And mm. you're you'll be very well compensated for this. And okay. you you will oh this is not charity honey this is you'll be very well compensated for it and it feels like it's connected with I almost want to say it feel it it could be the federal government like like FBI yes and it feels like this is about cases that the I want to say the normal public would not know right about you know. And right. that you have, um, there it is, a special gift and skill set that they can use. So, and you, you'll get along with them like wildfire. I mean, this is this is a group of very nice people, mostly men. They'll mm-hmm, probably of be three three of you girls, you and two other women that work there, uh, work with them. It, but in different capacities, and there'll be all sorts of um, not NDAs, not disclosure agreements. You're going to have to sign and blah blah blah. And it's kind of like me. I work at a flower shop. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. Really, Camille? <laughs> you know? When did you start that? Well, it's different. You know, I'm uh, I work in a flower shop that's not in where I, near where I live. <laughs> That's funny. I get. I Isn't get that funny? Saying. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But okay. you will love this because hmm. interesting. It's, it talk about really putting your your gift to work. Okay. And and doing something that is going to deeply matter to you, making a difference. Okay. You're also going to get con- – it's so funny. There is such a diversity in what you do. There is a – I just got chills all over me when I start saying this to you. There is going to be a doctor, a medical practice, that contacts you about working with some with their patients. Mm. All right. That will be fun. For very specific um, – this is not like weight loss, okay? It feels like okay. it's trauma. Yes. yes. That's what this feels like. It's trauma related. And it you know, it's not these are not vanity this is these are not vanity patients. These feel like they're trauma patients. Right. And it's you, utilize, utilizing a skill. They had somebody in there several years ago, I wanna say six, eight years ago, but boy, she was just so full of herself and she didn't relate to the patients, and it feels like you absolutely will, and they will relate to you. That will be great. Oh, you are going to love this. Boy, talk about diverse and using your gift where it would, people would never even think of that. They think you're doing the, uh, you know, the... The nightclub routine. No, no, no. Not you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yours is actually serious and real. <laughs> you know? Right. Of course. Well, yeah. And it's funny because I keep hearing <laughs> that when we were dropping carpooling earlier, the other mom was saying, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, we went to the fair and we oh, watched Lord. the stage hypnosis show. And I said, oh, well, yeah, of course you did. That was funny for a laugh, but that's not what I do. Uh, no. Well, it's funny no. because the I've been asked, God, a thousand times over the years when people would say to me, what do you really do? And, I, and I'd say I'm a psychic, and they'd go, yeah, but what do you really do? And I, oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, no, I know it's shocking, but that actually is my real job. And when people exactly. meet you, and when people meet you and people meet me, these are the last things they would think we ever do. It's That's like, right. you, you know, guess my job. I've had one person in my entire life ever guess that this is what I did. Hmm. 
And it was because I he I was on an airplane and started talking with his lovely little daughter, and they were my seatmates. And I said to him, you know how it kind of falls out of your mouth, oh, so you're an engineer, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, mm, how would you know that? I'm a good guesser, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's but it's not at all what people think you're supposed to look like as a hypnotherapist. Okay, they right. don't, don't understand the uses for it, and, and it's like being a psychic. They think I'm the every psychic is the gypsy on the pier, you know. Right. And it's like uh, no, I'm just a nice little kid from L.A., you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. so that oh, is yeah. pretty cool, girl. That's will you good. will will you will you let us know? Of course. Call up and just yeah. go, yippee. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. I love it. And I'm sending you big tarot hugs. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You are welcome, right. sweetheart. Okay. Next Bye-bye. Next up is Lori. Bye, honey. Lori, you there? Hi. Yes, I am. Hello. Is it our Lori? Hello. Yes, indeed. How Hi, are Lori. you, Dolly? Lori. I'm doing real well, real, real well. I just didn't want to let the evening go by without telling Karen um, that I really, really appreciate, as do the listeners, um, this almost like godlike advice that she oh. gives to all of us. Because you are so not sweet. <laughs> not one reading has not pertained to me, my jobs, my life, everything that I am going through and have gone through. I have found advice in every one of these calls that the callers have gotten advice from. It has applied to me, and I just want Karen to truly know that you truly are a gift from God. Oh. Um, it has. I, I, you're so grounded, but so humble, and yet you've got this very kind way of balancing the energy. I mean, it, it's almost like okay, the show can start. She's here, and I just you had are to let. So her sweet. Well, you know, you have a big fan club with Jonathan, Kelly, Barbara, and I. Yeah. See, I. Yeah, we just love you. It's like it's like where the heck are you? Let's all go get coffee. You know? <laughs> and that is so sweet of you because you know, I I've always believed that is God do this work as long as God wants me to. And mm-hmm. if he want God wants me to be a house painter, I'll be at Home Depot buying brushes in the morning. And I just work here, Lori. I I try to be a conduit to share what I, what comes through for somebody because everybody's life is different, you know, and we may all have have like uh, work issues or career issues or personal issues or, but how we deal with them, each person's life is so different. I was going to say it goes different for me because your vernaculars and your colloquialisms are exactly like my father's. The same ah. things you say, it's almost like my dad is talking through you. That's what I've been trying to hold back tears about. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet because the truth is it's my mom. Okay. My mother's gone a long time now, but okay. she was my gift from God. Okay. And I always said that if I had not been blessed enough to have her as my mother, I would have surely chosen her as my friend. And she was the, the one person in my life that taught me that it was okay just to be me. Wow. And that, because I didn't fit in anywhere, you know. And it's, you know, this, I always remember thinking, well, you know, I why would anybody want to look like everybody else? And why do they want to sound like everybody else and why would they you know it's like aren't we all individuals and 
you know, I, I'm very respectful of people's privacy, and and if I can't help them, um, I, I say to them, I'm the wrong girl for you. If what you want is just to hear what you want to hear, I'm the wrong person. Because, you know, the truth, I think the truth only has one story, and it's your life. It's It's something that is, whatever comes up is something that is deeply personal going on in your life. And it matters to me. It matters that I make it as clear as I can. And I don't want people to think I meant this. You know, I want them to very clearly understand what it is that I see and what I what I meant rather than what they thought I meant. But you know that. And I yeah. think you, my I think my mom and your dad are probably communicating. <laughs> that could be because it's the same vernaculars. It's the same little. I came with all my original parts straight from the yep. factory. My dad mm-hmm. used to say that. Oh my God, that's so funny. A lot of things. I had, I, I've had, I've had people walk up to me while I'm in a store somewhere, and this was about the weirdest thing that ever happened. This woman was rubbing the skin on my face, and I said, "Excuse me, can I help you?" And she said, "What makeup are you wearing?" I said. I'm not wearing makeup. She said, of course you are. Look at your skin. I said, honey, I'm not wearing makeup. I don't wear makeup. And she turned around to her friends and I said, and by the way, you might think twice about going up and touching people's face. You know, it's like, I said, I don't wear makeup and thank you very much. I know that's a halfway compliment you gave me, but I'm not wearing makeup. (laughs) And I think people just, they're so um everybody's so busy trying to look like someone else or be someone else and i just i don't know when i think when god was passing that out he said get behind the door karen you're never going to need that either <laughs> and he gave me the gift of my mother and clearly yeah. you of your dad so yeah, cause yay it's- the things that uh, the things that you say, it's it's like, oh my gosh! I've had more than fifty oh my gosh moments, and that has me oh my with my reading. I that is a beautiful thing, sweetheart. That is a beautiful is. thing. Lori, did you have any uh, questions for Karen, or were you just? Oh. Well, since I got got her, I mean, um, I just had to say that since I lost my dad, Thank I never. Thank you so much. You're All welcome. Right. Okay. You're welcome. I I All don't right. let things go without saying them because I I we have no control over time, and I just want to show you know my appreciation on behalf of myself and everyone else. I so and, appreciate it. Thank you. That is so sweet. All right. I can't wait to do okay. your chakras one day. That'll be awesome. Thank you. She is amazing. Yeah. She is amazing. I'm talking about you, Kelly. <laughs> Me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I, I wasn't even thinking that way. <laughs> I was thinking I was know, you were. Were. That's why it's like, Everybody yeah, is. she is. And it's like, no, honey, we're talking, I'm talking about you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hey. wow, thank you. But Lori, you here. should definitely <laughs> let Kelly do your chakras because I'm telling you, got, you should set it up when uh, for a time where you guys can because she's amazing. And her, her hurricane's not dressing people up over there. Yeah. What, honey? Uh, and the hurricane doesn't have you stressing out over there. Boy, isn't that the yeah. truth? Yeah. Well, I'm grateful that it veered off, you know, and that's oh, not good. 190 or 220 miles an hour anymore. Oh, good. Okay. Well, uh, okay, Lori? Thanks. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Thank you so much for what you do for everybody. You guys are amazing. Thank you, oh, sweetheart. Yeah, thank you. 
We will talk right, soon, Dolly. Now, now it's area code 386. 386? Hello? Where the heck is that? Hi, ladies. I'm in Florida. This is Cindy. Oh, bless your heart, honey. Stay safe. I will. I'm just out of the zone this time. We were Thank originally God. right in a direct path, but it moved where it's going up the coast now. So we're good. Yes. I'm very happy to hear that. We're blessed. Very happy to hear that. So what's your question, Miss Cindy? Okay, Miss Karen. Um mm-hmm. I would really um, like to know um, where I have my horses boarded, or, or I'm using a pasture that belongs to a friend. Uh-huh. She has a house for sale. Um, the, she has some buyers that are interested that just got approved for their loan, and they're scheduling right. an appraisal. Right. Are they going to buy that property? Um, are they going to be able to complete the sale and buy it? Um, cause I'm going. If so, I'm going to have to. She said if they may close you need, if, you if the need appraisal to, goes through. Uh, yes, I know, honey. You need to start looking for a place to move your horses. Okay. Because she I wish said I it could may say be you know, as soon as two to four that, weeks, but she doesn't know. But there's like nothing around here that I've found available. Well, you will. Okay. And when you when you go into looking, knowing that the right place will show up, it will show up. Okay. Don't mm-hmm. don't get stuck on that. There's nothing out there, okay? It it the right place will appear when you know that. I mean, because you're trust me, you're not moving to Virginia, okay? And you mm-hmm. need to just know that, and the universe will deliver it. But she definitely okay. feels like she's selling it, and the 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 husband, the the man, boy, he is difficult. Not your friend. I'm not talking about your friend. The one buying it? I'm talking about the buyers. Man, is mm-hmm. he difficult. Wow. He must yeah. have gone to charm school or something, you know. <laughs> what well, I know they, they're dealing with a loan broker who tried to extend the contract and extend the contract and extend the contract. She's like, no, I don't. if they haven't gotten approved for a loan yet, you know, I've already Absolutely. extended it two and a half months. I'm not going to extend it for another 30 days. Why haven't they gotten approved? I don't approved? blame her. She's like, oh, we're Either short do it staff. or don't. Yeah. yeah, so the same day they suddenly said, oh, they're approved now. Did they because send she the documentation? Because extend the contract. Mm-mm. <sighs> no, but they were supposed people. to go out with uh, one of the loan brokers or something to look at the property, and then they're supposed to be – Scheduling this coming week, scheduling the appraisal. So I don't know how oh, much. They, it well, that's yes. it's it's no, it's going and oh, it's it, going. whether it's them or it's the people that are coming right next to them. Trust me, she's selling this property very shortly. So you yeah. need to, you definitely need to find a place to put your beautiful babies. Yeah, I have been looking. In fact, I've been looking for a place um, for a while. Because well, and now, now it's, yeah, but now it's real, and it's close at hand, so you need to put it out to the universe at the right place you for you to be put together with the right place for your horses. And it will just, I'm, I say it jokingly, but it will magically appear. Okay. And don't be surprised if this if this guy you know, that's sort of um, a yeehaw guy. <laughs> if he he doesn't say to you, oh, I got a friend that has a place that it'll be a little further than what you would like, but it's not, you, you won't be driving half a day to get there. Okay. A yeehaw guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's nice, you know. He doesn't say a lot. He's a, he's kind of quiet, but this is a value to listen to because this is somebody that could change the trajectory of you stressing out over your horses. And it feels like it comes through him. But he looks like, he, he, it's so funny, he looks like he should be on a horse, you know. The only thing I don't see him with is the hat, you know. Uh-huh. I lived in I lived in Texas for a while, 
and I thought to myself, um, I don't even own a cowboy hat. <laughs> <You know? laughs> And it's, but this guy looks like he has, he either grew up on a farm or a ranch. He's, that is, that's been his, his world. And he feels like a cowboy, you know, but, well, you know, but yeah. You, you but, know what's but funny really, is I have a friend of mine that um, he calls every once in a while, just chit chat, I guess when he's, you know, driving home from work or board or whatever. Um he, you're describing him to a T, but he does wear a cowboy hat. And he, he yeah, thinks that's he's a cowboy. He used he, to be a bull rider. What he, that's hilarious. That's the guy that I think is going to. That's the guy that's. He's crystal clear to me. Isn't that funny? <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. And um, I think it just like casually he's going to say something to you about, you know, I have a friend that, you know. They do this, you know, because it feels like it just literally comes out of nowhere in conversation. Well, he just um, uh, purchased the place that he's owner <laughs> financing, but it's a long ways from here. It's it's like three, four hours from here. Yeah, no, um, that's not the place. And I said, well, keep your eyes open because I'm looking for a place with some land. To owner and I'm golf, telling you, I think I, it feels like he's going to be the uh, – He's going to be Mr. Magic that says the right thing at the right time. Okay. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny? I mean, he's clear as well to me. Wow. And now, am I going to um, am I going to find a place that um, that has a home on it where I can be there with the horses yeah. as well to move yes. with them and not yes. just board them in another pet yes. property? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's what, what did I say right. to you? It's not far. It's not a day's drive from where you are, but it's a little ways. It may be a little bit further than what you had hoped, but it'll be perfect. Mm-hmm. Well, if I find a place, with you mean when you find the space? What, you mean when together. you find the place? Right. Well, when I find it, if it has a space for the horses and myself, or well, right oh, now I will. have them in a, a different property. Um, yeah, and I've always I've always had them at my own home before, but then when I moved, I I know when I moved that there wasn't a place for them, so I had to put them in another pasture. And um, well, there will be this time, and there'll be good. room for you. Yeah, and I don't care where it's at; I'll go wherever. Oh, you! <laughs> but this, this is but a this place is for the horses. this is really uh, a perfect fit. Nice. The house is not unmanageable. The property is not unmanageable. You'll be very happy. Very nice. Do you see like, how soon I'll find this, or this will come up? It's going to be a little bit. I'm not. I'm looking at during spring. I wish I could tell you tomorrow, but it'll be. Uh, it feels like you're going to have to make some temporary arrangements for a minute, because this looks like it's spring. Uh, beginning of summer next year. Oh yeah, she's talking about me having to move the horses like in couple, two to no, four I weeks, know. depending on when they close. I know, honey. I know, but I'm just. You asked. I, I'm not, not going to make okay. something up, and I, it just it feels like this is going to take a minute. So you may have to make temporary arrangements. Okay. Okay. Just don't sign right. anything long term right at this moment, you know. Right. Right. You will find the right place. You'll see. Okay. Rest <laughs> your heart. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. You are welcome, okay. sweetheart. Okay. Well, we have we have about a minute left. Uh, we do. The, uh, <laughs> yes, we do. Now, Kelly, um, uh, Kelly, uh, Kelly, do you have anything you want to say or? or? Oh, it's not on the air. Okay, all right, that's fine. All right, that's fine. Um, Barbara, do you have anything you want to say? Yes, please. When I was talking to Karen. When we were not on a show, she said the person in my future will get married again and 
then I will have two homes. And I was telling Priscilla about that today. And she's like, where? Where are the two homes? Are they going to be out of town? Or <laughs> she doesn't want to move. And I'm like, I'll ask her. And I thought I was going to have to wait till Thursday to ask you, Karen. But, uh, I mean, I could call you in between these. But I might as well ask you right now. Go right ahead. Um, one of well, them just feels did. like. One of them feels like it's, um, I almost want to say in the desert. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, that because that's what it looks like to me. It's in a beautiful community. Like Palm Springs or something. Yes. No, not Arizona. Okay. No, 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 it's not Arizona. It feels like, if anything, one second, it, it's, either um, right outside of Palm Springs, like Palm Desert, or it's uh, in the Nevada area. Yeah, baby, that doesn't mean that we would have to go to school there. It means it's like your no, second no, home. No, 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 no. This feels like it's a getaway house. This doesn't feel yeah, like. Yeah, getaway. Yeah. When it's cold and damp in L.A. in the winter, you want to get away a little, you don't want to go somewhere a little hot. You know. Well, that's yeah. what it feels like. Okay. Wow. So I was. And it's a beautiful me. home. Ooh, that sounds nice. And because you know, I chose Huntington Beach because I love it here. So let's hope that the other. I almost don't want to even ask. You know how you don't want to ask because you don't want to know where the I mean, other. You home don't is? need. Yeah, and you don't need this information right now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Maybe I'll be. In the desert on a horse with no name. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. That's great. Oh, my God. That would be great. Gee, that would make a great line in a song, Kelly. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. And you know what? You can just ask these questions for yourself if you want to know. But I, you know, we're all close with my little daughter here, so I'm asking on her behalf, and she wants to know when. When I don't even care. I'm enjoying, you know, it's nice to have dreams, but I enjoy my life right now too, and I just and want to enjoy way, every honey, little bit. And that's the way, that's the way it should be. And you're not mm-hmm. moving from there anytime soon, so I wouldn't worry about it. You're going to be in that community for quite a while. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, didn't say that in that house. Cool. I said in that community. Right. We, yes. Got it? Thank you. Okay. Yes, very much. Just wanted to and clarify also, it. <laughs> seventh, right, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Well, I guess she does have a few more years in school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you little school girl. And she loves school. She was so excited today. Oh, I'm going so to happy. To, I knew she would. Jeez. I'm so oh, happy to hear that. She's taking the lollipops yeah. to school tomorrow. And, and, and I told her to take the lollipops <laughs> to school and hand them out to the other kids and tell them about the show. Right, Kelly? I mean, Young Barbara? Lady, That's your hilarious. First day of school, you better take those lollipops. Okay. That's Young hilarious. <laughs> She's going to make a zillion friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah, love it. She is. Yeah. Well, you know what? You really worked hard today, Karen. I mean, we have so many new listeners and callers. This is exciting. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And they're all so sweet. Isn't that funny, Camille? And a lot I, of taught her, I taught her tarot. <laughs> yes. That's, that's amazing. Cool. And that she found you and us. And, oh, my gosh. I love this it. This is cool. This is really well, cool. I love it. People that. When I screened the calls, I asked him, I said, have you listened to me before? They're, yes, yes. A lot of people said that like, tonight. That is so, wonderful. Yes. Yeah. There was well, I, you know, I love he, doing the he, show, and the people that call are so sweet. It's like, sure and, and it's one a lady joy. Said, I, one lady, I forgot which one, said that, you know, she always listens to the show when she runs on the treadmill. Uh, yeah, that, that, was, that, that was the first or second caller. She's adorable. I know. So I, cool. I think we're starting to grow the community, which is, you know, what the, Isn't the first. Isn't that uh, wonderful? Kelly was the first, mm-hmm. was the first word, one to actually call this a community. So, you know, it's interesting to see it actually, you know, find what she said finally came true, you know. That is so, yeah. Well, you know, but it takes a minute. Mm-hmm. We didn't yeah. We didn't grow up overnight, you know. Right. It's. 
And and I know it's hard to believe, but we were once Priscilla's age. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. even though it was only five years ago, but you know that five years has gone by in a blink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Who knew that seventeen would be this complicated? You know. I know. <laughs> yeah. We, we think we know it all at seventeen. Oh, hardly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know right. about you, but I still don't. And the day I ever think I do, I hope God throws dirt on me. Right. Well, I thought I did it every day. Boy, did I get dumb. <laughs> did you what, honey? I thought I did it 17, but boy, did I get dumb. <laughs> <laughs> No, you scared. didn't get dumb. You just kind of went, oh, what was I thinking? You know? yeah, yeah, and man, when I was a teenager, my parents were dumb. And as I got older, they got really smart. That's so funny because I never thought that about my mom. My sister yeah. did, definitely. And, well, but I mean, my mom, dumb, I always yeah. thought was, because she always had these incredibly wise answers. You know, for the well, mysteries yeah. of why people behave certain ways. <laughs> you know? I mean, I yeah, they were smart on a lot of things, but they were also. Were you ever a teenager and thought your parents were embarrassing? You know, for about five minutes. Like, no. you know, they used to hold your hand in the mall, and then all of a sudden it's like, don't do that. It's embarrassing. You know. Oh yeah, so that's so funny. Today. I was dancing <laughs> well, in the shoe store. Well, yeah. remember, I was almost a foot taller than my mother. My mom was four foot eleven, and I'm five oh. foot nine and a half. <laughs> so, so cute. And and yeah. our favorite thing was when people she would introduce me as her baby daughter, and people would point up at me and go, "She's your baby daughter." <laughs> like yes, and your point. <laughs> Why, you know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, it's been a great show, and um, thanks everybody for coming on. Another thank great you. Time. I love you guys. Oh, thank you. Love, love you all. You. And, uh, love you all. So we'll and see everyone tomorrow. Okay? We have a lot of callers. Yeah. We tomorrow sure we did. have Audra Lynn on for her chakra class. We sure do. Yep, that's so well, cool. Have yeah. a wonderful, wonderful show tomorrow. I love you guys. Oh, thank you. 